Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match in Annalisa the Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333, remaining your host, and we're going to have a match between RAR and Ikins, which will be the only RAR match I cast today, I promise, because, well, RAR plays a lot of 1v1, and I'm also a little curious if they're going to change up their tactics at all, because they're always about the commanders, always, 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 and that's, well, the one thing they do. And I've also casted a lot of them because they play a lot of 1v1, which is good for them, but it should be something that a lot of people do. Myself included, actually. But that's not the point. The point is, I realize I'm casting a lot of RAR recently. I'm not going to cast all RAR day today. This is the only one. Don't be worried. Unless you're RAR, then sorry. I didn't, I'd only casted one of your games. But anyway, let's move on. So RAR going for the Gunship Factory. And Ikens going for Kolkibot Factory. So Icons on the Cloakies, which is something that has not been popular up until recently, although admittedly the Warriors have been progressively nerfed back down to somewhere in between where they were before and where they became when they were the strongest. We're all going for Quick Cranes, trying to cheat out some expansions from the looks of it, and yeah, that appears to be the way to go. So that's... that seems wise. We saw them last time on this match, I mean, they probably played this map more, but the last match they played on this map we saw involved them going for... Shield bots against spiders getting locked out, losing their commander around here, and that was kind of embarrassing for them. Probably not going to happen this time since it looks like RAR is focusing a bit more on their economy with their commander and setting up banshees for the actual attack. Icons, on the other hand, going for a bunch of glaives. No, what? No conjurer? What? Wow, okay. That's a little bit surprising. Why no conjurer? Icons going hyper-aggressive right now. I really don't know what they're planning on doing. I mean, sending a Conjurer down here, sending the Commander down here, sending the Commander over here, since that is... No, that's an Econ Com, not a Recon Com. Well, Support Com, not a Recon Com. Never mind, doesn't have jumps. And one Banshee. One Banshee for RAR, because... Why not? That seems a little bit... Insufficient. But okay... I guess we'll see how that goes. And it's... What is it going to be? Well, maybe not that effective. Actually, there's only one defender. Could work out okay. I still think there should be more than one Banshee coming in here to raid, because one Banshee's not a whole lot, but it's doing a job! It is doing a job! It is actually hitting things! And dealing damage, and scouting out, which is not bad. But RAR kind of gave away the old gunship game with one... And only one Banshee. And they also didn't go to kill the Defender. But, oh, I see. They're suspecting that there's going to be an expansion down here, which there is not. Especially given that it's a Conjurer. I mean, it's a Cloakybot factory. There's And there is the Conjurer, finally. But that's the one that's being built. There's there's no jump bot at all. There's no jumping capability at all. And I don't think Conjurers can even go down this side of the ramp over here. Let's see. Oh. Oh, they can. Okay, so yeah. Okay, Conjurer could have gone down this ramp. But that's about it. Well, I guess RAR's committed to the gunship thing because they've given it they've given the game away. I mean, Icons knows, okay, I'm dealing with air. I suppose they're suspecting a ground switch, which okay, I guess if they're suspecting a ground switch and Icons doesn't go or RAR doesn't go for the ground switch and Icons doesn't go well, they're going for some anti air. So they're not really expecting a ground switch, they're expecting more air. So we'll see how this goes. I mean, okay, some anti-raiding going on. That's good. Rapiers are a really good choice against Glaives, though. Banshees are good. Rapiers wreck Glaives. But Banshees should be fine. The problem, of course, will be the Gremlins. Actually, the Gremlins in combination with the Lotuses. These Banshees don't have long for this world, I'm afraid. They've got to run off. The survivors have to run off. One died for that ill-fated attack. I mean, at some point, RAR is going to have to switch over to ground, because they're going to be completely countered in the air. And that's kind of the whole point for going air early, is that you do a lot of damage, and then your opponent counters it, and then you've already gone to the ground. But Ikins is assuming RAR is going to stay in the air, and Ikins is right. This is the point where you switch off to ground, because your opponent assumes you're going to stay in the air, builds a bunch of anti-air, and then you build a large ground force that their air force can't deal with. I mean, given that, I, RAR only went for one Banshee. Honestly, they only spent 200 metal on this. Well, 
they would have had to spend another 600 to get a new factory. But that timing with the amount of resources invested, that wasn't much. It wasn't like, okay, I'm going to go for five or six Banshees, try to win with that, and if I don't, then switch to ground. It was one Banshee, scare Icons into going for anti-air, and then not worry about it. But no, they went one Banshee, scared Icons into going anti-air, and then continued going for air, even though Icons was scared of going anti-air, which means that Icons is perfectly suited to counter these Banshees. Whereas, had Rar gone for ground, Icons wouldn't have the counters for it, and they'd be completely hooped. I'm not sure what Rar is planning on doing here. I mean, they did upgrade their commander, which we've always got to pay attention to, but at this point it's only upgraded once. But no, they're going hard on air from the looks of it. What the heck? That doesn't make much sense. I don't understand what's going on here. That really is weird. And that could very well be their undoing. I mean, what what is Rar's backup plan? Okay, Ophelia's pointing out sometimes Rar just plays like this. Well, I've no, this isn't gonna work. I, I kind of appreciate the commitment, but this isn't gonna work. At all. I mean, I guess, okay, it might sort of work, I guess, with enough brute force. But now Razor's coming up. Loads of warriors, that's one of the biggest things. All these warriors here are just gonna wreck Banshees. No Rapers coming in. Finally a ground switch! But... Still. Like I said, that... It would have worked more optimally with that first Banshee, just because that first Banshee scared Icons into anti-air. Switching to Cloakie for, say, Glaives, for Rockos it's fine, but for if they wanted to go for a bunch of raiding with Glaives, well, the Warriors are in place, because Warriors counter both Banshees and Glaives. Like, there's no way for Rar to really do a lot of damage, other than maybe brute forcing it with numbers. But they're certainly going against the grain on this one. Luckily for them, they are going towards the less defended areas of the map, which does mean that Icons is not going to be as able to counter these Banshees. The Banshees will be able to do a fair amount of harassment to the north. That's what they want. I mean, Icons wasn't totally prepared for this, but... Okay, that that's not a bad way of dealing with things. I mean, if you can't attack the main base, attack the periphery. That's how you do it normally. Yeah, okay, fair enough. But I get the impression that that's not going to be a feasible option pretty soon. And Icons going for gunships of their own. Probably going to go for Rapier Trident. Maybe go for Banshees as well, but probably just Rapier Trident. So now we have Cloaky. The Cloaky's done for Rar. Gunship's almost done for Icons. And Warriors coming in, which are going to be very effective against the Banshees, or should be. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, the Banshees can't even do a flyover without getting shredded. That was two-thirds of that Banshee force just torn to shreds by those Warriors. Bearing in mind, Warriors cost as much as a Banshee individually, so that those Warriors, more than made for their value, or more than made up for their cost. All together. Well done, Warriors. They did that well. I mean, they could probably assault right now. If it weren't for the fact that they are kind of needed for countering other stuff. And, okay, okay. Warrior, Rocco. Uh, Rar definitely has the right idea. Icons might be a bit concerned here. I'd almost say Icons might want to bring in a few glaives, but I don't think they will. They do have rapiers, though. That will be handy. And, I mean, Warriors... Even if they're going to be countered by the Rockos, there's... Oh, man. Yeah, that's not too easy. I'm just thinking, if they... If they can get in, they're a very powerful assault force, just really frail. If there was Zeus alongside that, that would help. If there were Glaives alongside that, the Rockos would be dead. Oh, sorry, Anarchid, I haven't managed to integrate the logo animation. I was really busy this morning working on the camera system to make it work perfectly properly, when you, especially when you zoom out and there's the lock to center thing. And even that, I still have a bit of work to be done on that. Why is that? Oh yeah, right, because that's not the bounce. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done on that. I still haven't figured out why it, it seems to have this bounce going on. I gotta figure that out. It always had that bounce going on, but I'd like to fix it now that I've actually got all the zooming working properly. But... Yeah, I didn't really have time to integrate the logo animation. I totally forgot about that. I actually had to start the stream late because of that. But hey, the camera is nicer. At least. 
it's kind of a release candidate at this point, because, I mean, yeah, there's a couple weird bouncing issues, but frankly, it's loads better than it used to be. At any rate, RAR actually managing to push stuff away. Okay, so RAR, they have a pretty solid setup for economy. I mean, the harassment over here to the north, that did help out. I can kind of see what Orphelius is talking about in the chat about how RAR can get away with this because of economy. But that's... Yeah, that's actually really problematic, isn't it? But at the same time, RAR has not really gone much for air anymore. Although there is anti-air. And the rapiers aren't really doing a whole lot of good right now. Ay, and of course, more... Okay, so are we going to see sharpshooters? Or specters, as they're not called? Looks like no. Wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I don't think we are. Just to get rid of the commander. Because the commander is going to be a massive thorn in the side. We're even a, a bunch of glaives probably help deal with this. Glaives do deal with warriors in large enough numbers. Like, half a dozen glaives will get rid of one warrior... So it's not like you can't beat warriors with glaives. Actually, it might be higher now because the warriors were buffed. That's one of the reasons I haven't done that video I mentioned before, but planning on doing about what what it takes to beat a unit with another unit. I don't know. I want to do those videos, but at the same time, I don't want them to be out of date next week if I do them. Like, I don't want them to be out of date the following week. Hmm. At any rate, RAR seems to be doing pretty well for themselves right now. No Spectres coming up so far at all. Really not sure why. Rock okay, Rockos do make sense. And Rapiers with Harassment. The Rapiers are not going to be doing super great. I mean, I guess they're covering for the Warriors, which is good. That's where it comes into play. That's where the real assault happens. Warriors tearing everything apart and getting killed. But hey, still tearing everything apart. This assault worked pretty well overall. If Icons can take this territory for themselves on top of this assault, that'll be awesome. That'll work out beautifully. And that's the last of the Banshees, too. RAR has no Air Force right now, and they aren't planning to build any from the looks of it either, so they're actually just ground. I mean, they've got a decent anti-Air Force, but they're primarily grounded. Hmm... Yeah, it looks like this is going to be one big push here in the center. Icons, if they can deal with that one big push, that'll be a huge blow to RAR. Because right now, RAR and Icons are actually fairly close economically. After losing this little expansion, this little plateau expansion, Icons and RAR are pretty much on par with each other for economy. RAR has much better energy, mind you. So Icons can't really reclaim to victory in the way RAR could. At the same time, though, Icons coming in on all sides. RAR really is starting to get pincered. And we saw this last time, but there's nothing. There's no tick, there's no sharpshooter, there's nothing to deal with the commander to stun it out as there was with the infiltrator last time. If there was something, if something... If, oh man, a few ticks on the ground right in front here would be awesome, but there aren't... There's nothing to that effect. None at all. Yeah, overview works beautifully too now. Which is awesome. Centers whatever you have your mouse on. But that's beside the point. The point is... Icons right now, kind of in a bit of a pivotal fight here. The commander's not going to go down to the warriors at all. The Rockos will help, but even that's not going to be enough. It'll help a lot, but there needs to be ticks. There needs to be sharpshooters. There needs to be something to stop this commander outright. Stun it out. Shoot it down. Whatever. I mean, thankfully the, for Icons, the base is being destroyed. Rar is losing their main base. This is kind of a do-or-die attack for Rar. And actually, Rar's commander, despite the fact that they aren't getting stunned out, is still getting torn to shreds. And that is... That's it. Rar's commander down. Comp push has been ended inside of Icon's territory, so if more for the fact that the reclaim is not super useful due to the lack of energy, that's a lot of reclaim. How much reclaim is that? I can't say. And, well, it doesn't even matter there, because Rar throws in the towel. Icon's managed to push away the commander. Well done, Icon's. I still think Rar would have been better off having just switched over to ground right after that first Banshee, because Icons totally fell for air. If that had been a bait and switch, Rar would have had a great advantage going in. 
Oh, Rar pointing out they meant to have the units to overwhelm. Yeah, but at the same time, that was just warriors, which Rocco's deal with, and gremlins, which don't make a difference. So I don't really know what the point was. I, I felt like even if that had come, even if the army had come in properly, it still would have worked in Iken's favor. Anyway, that is going to be that match. So we have another one last match tonight, which is going to be Gayop and Steel Blue on Avalanche. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.